Today on the channel, we're monkeying around again with the McFarland Toys Spawn Cygor Patina Edition McFarland Toy Store Exclusive. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another McFarland Toy Store exclusive unboxing and review and today we're back to Spawn we're back to Cygor Patina Edition but for all your McFarland Toy Store needs head to McFarland Toy Store but everything else under the sun entertainment earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And speaking of deals, I got in on that Todd McFarlane 4th of July deal, Todd. Todd on the couch here today. He's just doing this, but he's, of course, doing it with his toes. Because he's excited to get down into it with a little gorilla action here. And I think you told me you love every uh, chimp you see from Chimpan A to Chimpanzee. I like the old Simpsons episode back in the day. But you're in luck. We got a cybernetic gorilla here today. As Cygor, of course, an all-time favorite from the Spawn toy lines. Going all the way back to the 90s and for whatever reason because i'm crazy i got a third edition here this patina edition and this was on sale fourth of july i think it was actually the fourth of july the actual fourth of july they had 25 percent off all in stock items at the mcfarland toy store this was like 24 dollars after the discount or something i was like oh my gosh a clearance monkey a clearance gorilla you know the way to my heart, Todd. And you walked right in there with a banana, and uh, you made me get this one. And I, of course, couldn't pass it up. And now I got three Cygors in my collection. And, of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We'll do some monkey and comparisons later on in this very video. But, of course, there he is in his new colors, Patina. Oh, Patina. Look at that. He's been rusting out and outside, I guess. You can scan me or don't, of course. On the side here, a little bit of that, a little McFarlane stuff, a little Cygor action, Patina edition, Spawn logo at the top, full on jibber jabber down low, and then of course the front, you got the gold label exclusive in the corner, Spawn, Cygor, McFarlane toys, and this is one of 3,050 pieces. I don't know. That's why they got left, because I don't know if anybody wanted 3,050 pieces of the other versions of this one, uh, let alone uh, this monkey in one, so... We're going to find out, though. We're going to find out right here at the table today. Very interesting. What do we got going on here? What is that? We just got a piece of cardboard taped inside there. I'm not sure the reasoning. See you later. Todd, any idea? Oh, it's tracking ID? Oh, he's tracking me. He put something in there to track people. Terrible, Todd. Terrible. Nobody wants to be GPSed. But look at that. How about that? Patina edition. We got the card. You got the stands. Got a lot of stuff going on in this one right here. But we're going to try to get him out of the package to the best of our ability. Of course, this card, mangled, taped up. You know, I like to get these cards graded, Todd, and this is not going to grade a 10 at this point. It's curled, it's bent up there, but I did get 1,096 of 3,050. How did they know 1,096 was my lucky number? Oh yeah, I told you in a couple of videos ago, that's right. Uh, but unfortunately, my card's all bent up. I've had that a few times from the McFarland Toy Store. Not a big fan of that, obviously. I don't know, I don't know who would be. Who would be a fan of that? See you later. Goodbye, but can we get this big old monkey out of the out of the cage? Out of his cage, I guess is what we'll call this right here. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? So we do got the stand here, and it's got tape all the way down it, and it's kind of like I don't know if I want to say ruin the stand a little bit, but you can see the outline on there. You got the green and patina color. Of course, you got the stand holder right here. If you want to take your last stand, whatever you want to do. And I'm gonna cut this monkey out, is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut him out. I think he's ready to go. There it is. Oh, we got one more around the waist. I feel like I'm freeing King Kong. Anybody ever watch those 70s King Kong movies? 
I loved those movies. A lot of people hated them. See you later. That's a heavy package as well. A lot of people hated those movies. Not Little Kyle. When I was a little kid, I loved all the King Kong movies, especially those ones. Uh, but we got Sigor out of the package. And like I said, what is old is new again. We've seen this before. There's no doubt. He's got the big monkey face going on. Got the patina kind of helmet, side head, whatever you want to call it there. Those big old monkey fangs looking good. One green eye, one red eye. He's got scars and cuts all over him, of course. And then he's got all of his mechanical stuff. He's got his full-on mechanical arm, his feet, his hands on this side. All the stuff we've seen plenty of times before. But this time you got that kind of bronzest, goldest patina color, I guess is what it's called. It does have green highlights and green accents throughout. So it almost looks a little green and gold. And dare I say, could Sigor be an Oakland A's fan? Very well could be. Very well could be. Of course, much like Frankenstein, he's stitched up. He's got stitches all over, red, a little blood, a little bit gory. A science experiment gone wrong is what Saigor really is at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, his arm does go around for us, kind of. Kind of will go around, maybe not all the way. Goes up, I guess. We do get a single jointed elbow, very tight elbows on this one. Oh my gosh, very tight elbows. Hands, oh, a little back and forth, very tight once again. Head back and forth. You are limited by that holster kind of his head's locked into. This arm does go up. A little softer plastic on the shoulder here to get a little bit more movement out of it. Oh, very tough to bend, but very tight joints on this, Todd. Uh, just like your joints, too. I knew your joints were tight. You told me that the other day. Got a little hip movement going on, of course. A single jointed knee, a little ankles back and forth. Got a hole in the foot for this stand. This stand's pretty much worthless, though, for a big figure like this. He does still have that gorilla diaper on there. It looks just like a diaper like a baby would have. It's a weird, squishy feeling. Uh, not the best feel, of course. But all in all, we've talked about this one twice already. We talked about the regular version. We talked about the Amazon exclusive one. And now we're talking about the McFarlane Toy Store exclusive. If there was ever getting the most out of your molds, this would be the definition. But guess what? You can't use this for another character. You got to do what you got to do. Right, Todd? Todd said, right. He gave me the big thumbs up with his big toe, of course, as we do know. But it is cool for what it is. But if you have any of the other incarnations, you probably don't need this bad boy. I don't know. You guys tell me. Maybe you do. I just was caught at a weak moment. Oh my gosh, 25% off, four hours only. Do I need another one? That's kind of where I fell into. And of course, if it was more of a longer sale, maybe not as cheap, maybe I wouldn't have jumped in. Obviously, I didn't jump in when it was first announced. I played a little bit of that patented long game, and we know all about that here on the channel. But we got two other Cygors to join him. I guess I'm just starting a monkey army. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm all in. It's going to be a homemade Planet of the Apes with gorillas, monkeys, orangutans, chimpanzees, Z's and me. That's what it's going to be. But three versions of Cygor. Choose your own Cygor adventure. But what are your guys' thoughts on this one? Did you pick any of these up? I think some, a lot of people picked this one up. I think these two might have been a little bit of a stretch. But let me know your thoughts on these three monkeys. Gorillas, sorry, sorry. I know. Mark Summers with the quick correction right there. Uh, gorillas, of course. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. And then some. Yes, it's true. And then some as we do got, of course, tons of stuff on Patreon every single day as well. Patreon, the best way to support the channel. You get early access to both YouTube channel videos. All kinds of stuff on Patreon. You can even sign up to be a free member if that is your thing. Check out ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Cygor and Todd and Mark on the couch, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.